Hi, I'm Dr. Bertice Berry and I need to tell you a story. I'm looking a little rough this morning because when you walk with purpose, you collide with destiny. And destiny is that magical thing that happens where um, I think the power of God combines with what we are doing and what we're purposed to do. And then you create those destiny things, but you have to do your life on a regular. You do your life and it feels like drudgery because you're doing what you're supposed to do. And then these things happen that are supposed to happen because you're doing what you're supposed to do. Well, that's happening this weekend with the Institute for Story. StoryCon, Story Conference is happening this weekend. And storytellers who are part of the story group on Facebook, Stories to Tell with Dr. Bertice Berry. If you're not a member, you should join. You learn to tell better stories. You learn to go in. Anyway, so um, we are connecting in person, live and in person, and all of these connections have happened as a result of it. But more than that, um, people send folks from their businesses, they send folks from their companies to come and to connect and to be a part of um, so that they can learn to bring story back to where they work, where they live, in their communities to make it better. I've recently been contacted from, from folks who want me to use what is now this four-year research project um, to help people in their own lives with story. I've been asked to present about it at a huge um, conference of like academics. And I don't know why I'm acting like I'm not one of them, because I am. <laughs> anyway, so people are coming in um, for the conference, which starts... Sunday evening, actually, um, because Walking with Purpose Collided with Destiny, I was ordained in the Episcopal Church as a deacon in April. And so um, I'm preaching on Sunday, just so happened that I'm preaching on Sunday. So a lot of people changed their plans to come in early to hear me preach. And that happens to be the evening where our church has neighborhood parties and all the neighborhoods, all the different places where we gather. So one of our neighborhoods is this. So we will um, share a part of that dinner party where we stop and pray together. We'll share it with all of you because you're a part of it. I think that sometimes doing what we're supposed to do feels so difficult when others are doing whatever they want to do, whatever they're big enough to do, whatever they feel like they're going to do today. But those of us who do what we feel like is the right thing, um, what we feel led to do that is orderly, that is sometimes looks like boring, but not if you're a nerd, um, that sometimes for others looks like, why are you doing that thing? We are doing that thing because we know it builds the bigger things and everybody gets to be a part of it. And sometimes it feels lonely those of you who are caregivers and your lives are locked into the life of someone else, it feels completely isolating. But you are doing the right thing. And as difficult as it is, you are creating destiny moments in the universe. And you are so a part of this. And I love you. And I'm grateful, grateful, grateful for all of you who listen, for all of you who come. If you weren't able to join us at this story conference, um, I will be hosting a retreat in January in Connecticut. Um, I know, January in Connecticut. Ooh, I get to see snow, hopefully. Anyway, um, you can go to transformedretreat.com, uh, I think, .com or .org. Or anyway, I'll find it and put it in here. You can go to that, sign up for that retreat. That's very limited space, but you're welcome to join us. And then you can also join us at transformlife.com where we are building community and with those who want to go deeper into their lives to see who they are, how they are, and grow. There are so many things that are happening right now. Um, new TV show, new Black World turned into something. Da, 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 da. There's so many things going on right now. But I feel like they're a culmination of just doing, doing the thing that you feel is the right thing. Even when others are partying and enjoying life and spending your money and doing <laughs> and having more fun than you're having because you're making the fun, sometimes things come together when we're willing to let go 
of the things that seem like it was the thing. We're called to so much. And when you allow your purpose to shine, the world gets to shine brighter too. I love you.